Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to go through how to make a pattern using clip art. So there's a lot of places you can get clip art like Creative Market. Clip art I'm actually using in the video today is something that I am going to be releasing in my newsletter today or tomorrow. So if you want to hop over to my website, I'll leave a link below, sign up for the newsletter, and each month I'm going to be sending out free resources for you to use in your own designs. So normally when you download clip art, it's usually in a zipped folder. As soon as you unzip that, you will see something like this, where it just has the files ready to go, typically as a PNG with the transparent background. So the first thing that I do, I just go ahead and I open all of them in Affinity Designer. I have already opened them and moved most of them over to the document that I want to create the pattern in, but I have left this one for you to see how I move them over to the document. I like to use keyboard shortcuts, so I just use Command C to copy, but you could also go to Edit and Copy go to the document that you're wanting to use to create your pattern. If you're using keyboard shortcut, it is Command V. Or you can use Edit and Paste. The way that I usually get started with doing patterns like this, I like to make, since this is florals, I like to make kind of like a bundle for the flowers. So I'm just going to go ahead and group all of these. They don't necessarily have to touch, I just kind of like them too. I'm going to drop this below that first flower by using command and the left bracket. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how this grouping looks, so I'm just going to grab all of the pieces and group them together. Try to move everything out of the way. So I'm just going to move this to the top right corner. I just kind of want to grab these and put them in the center to keep them away from this group. So once you have that, you're just going to copy and paste it. So Command C, Command V. And then you're going to come down to the transform panel. And you're going to work with this X and Y. So for this one, we want to move it down the exact same height as the artboard. So make sure when you are setting up your document that it's something very easy to remember. I did 2000 for mine. So next to Y, go in there and do plus 2000 and hit enter. I'm actually, since these are already the exact spacing that they need to be apart, if you grab both of them, you can move them. So like this. And I'm also going to grab both of those, copy and paste, so Command C, Command V. And this time, go to your transform panel and next to the X, hit plus 2000. Once again, I'm just gonna move it around a little. This time I'm going to grab one and the Alt or Option key and I'm just going to put it into the center of the artboard, rotate it, and you have already set up a repeating pattern, but this is where I like to go in. I'm going to duplicate it one more time and ungroup. And this time I'm just going to take out everything that I don't want to use. I just want a smaller grouping of flowers this time. So I have these three and I want to make them a little smaller. And then I'm going to add in some of the elements that I didn't use in the previous bundle. Group all of those together. And then you can place some around the artboard and rotate them to kind of mix it up a little bit. 
Okay, so now I'm going to take some of these remaining elements and just put them around the artboard. Make sure to have some go off of the artboard. Since this one is on the right side of the artboard, instead of doing plus, you need to do minus. So minus 2000 and it will repeat on the opposite side. So kind of like that last one, if you have something that's at the bottom and you need it to go towards the top, when you go into the Y, make sure you do minus, and that way it will repeat at the top. So I'm happy with how this is looking. I just want to make a square that's the exact same size as the artboard and I want this to go to the back so I'm just going to right click arrange and move to the back. So I want to pick a color that matches so I'm just going to go into this blue, change that background to the blue, double click on that foreground color and I'm going to switch from whatever is up here make sure that it's on lightness and this way you can kind of see what a darker color would look like, which is actually what I'm going for. I want that darker color, but you can also look to see what a lighter blue would look like, which also looks really good. I just like the darker. And then I noticed that this square has the stroke on it, so I just want to turn that stroke off. And you have already set up your entire repeating pattern. Now I'm going to move that rectangle back up towards the top, grab everything else, and just layer it behind so it becomes a clipping mask. And if you've watched any previous videos, you may have already seen the one where you set up a template so you can see your pattern once it is complete. So I'm going to copy this, so Command C. I already have this document opened up. And I just want to paste that in. And as you can see, it is not sized correctly. So I just want to go in and size that. And now you can get a pretty good idea of what that pattern would look like as it is repeating. And I actually really like the way that it looks. So I'm just going to go back over to the pattern and then go to file, export. And depending on where you're wanting to use this, you can save it either as a PNG or a JPEG. Um, I actually feel like a lot of places the PNG works a little bit better, so I would select PNG. Whole document is fine and export. I hope you found this video useful. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.